Welcome back 514 on your Friday morning with the U.S. Surgeon General reporting 95% of children aged 13 to 17 using social media. The platform's impact on mental health is significant. Now, in light of the report, Instagram's parent company Meta implemented a policy change aiming to reduce children's social media use. Our own Kiara Sam spoke with a child psychiatrist at Children's Hospital Colorado to help parents navigate the new rule. Teenagers are particularly sensitive to the social media platform. In response to growing concerns, Instagram is introducing new restrictions on how teenagers engage with the popular social media app. Some concerning things um, that had been found as an association between the time spent on um, social media specifically um, and uh, feelings of anxiety and depression. Some of the new initiatives for users under 16 include a sleep mode, default private accounts, and age verification. Dr. Joel Stoddard, a child psychiatrist at Colorado Children's Hospital, believes these changes are a step in the right direction. It should help um, with uh, exposure to malicious content, um, which is one of the primary drivers here, and also um, reduce like the amount of sleep disruption that social media can cause. While the platform aims to limit teenage online interactions, he notes there are valuable benefits of engagement that might be affected by this policy shift. One of the things that we want to make sure that kids have access to um, is a way to connect with folks for support when they need it. It's also necessary, he says, to find a balance between meaningful online connections and real life interactions. That is being present with family, with friends, um, being intentional with your time when you're uh, doing homework, for example. It's remarkable how quickly homework can be done when you're not distracted. Instagram says it aims to have all teenage users transition to teen accounts within two months. With the plan to implement the new policy for teen users in the European Union later this year. In studio, Kiara Sam, News 5.